Hello everyone. Uh, so this video is to actually cover the steps in order to connect uh, Arduino Opta PLC, the device, to the software Arduino PLC IDE. Uh, I'm going to show you how to download the software and how to install it. And then we're going to create um, a simple PLC ladder logic program and then send it to the device. I'm going to start with a brief introduction. Arduino Opta is a micro PLC with industrial IoT capabilities. The Opta PLC device supports both the Arduino programming language, the one with the C++, and the standard PLC programming languages, like for example, ladder diagram, function block diagram, etc. You can program Arduino Opta PLC using the two software, Arduino IDE, or Arduino PLC IDE. For this video, I'll be working with Arduino PLC IDE. I am using a USB-C uh, cable to power the device, the Opta PLC device. You need to make sure that you are using a USB cable that supports data transfer. Um, and also note that the USB does not power the output relays of the Opta PLC. In order to do so, you need an external power supply. Now, we don't need this for this video. A USB-C uh, cable is enough. Um, I can also cover wiring an external power supply in another video. The very first step is I want you to download and install both software, the Arduino IDE and Arduino PLC IDE. Now to download the software, I want you to go to the Arduino website and click on uh, the software tab. This is where you are going to see all the Arduino uh, software products. The very first one that I want you to do is to download Arduino IDE. Uh, you have multiple options here for different operating systems. Um, I am going to use the one for Windows. And if you scroll down a bit, um, this is the the Arduino PLC IDE uh, and the download option uh, for the PLC IDE is only available for Windows operating system. Now to install the software you can either uh, double click on the exe files or right click and then select run as an administrator. Once you double click on the uh, files you will be prompted by uh, the setup window um, just follow the instruction on each page. The installation process for both software is pretty straightforward. And of course, if you want more information on downloading and installing the software, the Arduino IDE2, um, this is a reference from the Arduino website, as well as this one for um, Arduino PLC IDE. The next step is to install the Arduino Embedded Operating System Opta board score. To do that, I want you to go to the Arduino IDE software, open the software, and then go to the uh, board manager and type in Arduino embedded operating system Opta boards. Now I have it installed, but I want you to install that on your computer. The Arduino embedded operating uh, Opta board uh, core contains the library and examples in order to work with Opta PLC and its components. Now, you need to do this only once, installing the Arduino Embedded Operating System Board. Uh, we're not going to do this every time we use the software or the PLC device. And think about it as just preparing your computer to, com to communicate with the device. And after that, we just work with the software directly. And this is what I'm going to show you next. Once you have the board core is installed in Arduino IDE, then launch Arduino PLC IDE software. Now the very first thing is to create a project. You can either click on new project here or you can go to file and then new project. I'm going to click on new project here and then give it a name. I'm going to give it a name as an Opta PLC one and then click OK. The layout of the software is quite similar to the other PLC um, software. 
um, I can do a tour on the software in another video. But for now, what I want you to uh, focus on is the Opta configuration. So the window in the middle. If you don't see this window by um, for some reason, uh, please go to the resources here, the window here, and then make sure that you're clicking on the resources tab and double click on Opta, which is the board that we're using. And then you should be able to see the device configuration or the Opta configuration window. Now, in order to establish the communication between the Opta PLC device and the software, the board, the Opta PLC device, needs to run a specific program called Runtime in order to interact with the PLC IDE software. So to download the Runtime, um, on the window where it says Opta configuration here, um, under Other, you will see multiple ports here. Um, I want you to select, you can select both any one of them. I'm going to select the highest number. And I also want you to make sure that this port is not being used for the Modbus communication. So go to the online here and then click on setup communication. And then here on the Modbus, um, click on properties and then uh, make sure that this, the port is the lowest number. Um, as long as the port here is not the same port here, we're good. So click OK and then click OK. And here, click on download. The process might take a while. Um, so be a bit patient in this step, especially for the very first time. Once the download is complete, um, then I'm going to connect to the device. Um, I can either go here and connect to the target or you go online and then you click on connect. Now, once you see the window the, here showing that the status is OK, um, and it's also showing here that it is, it is connected, that means we have established um, a connection between the software and the Opta PLC device. Now, for you, for the very first time, if you are working with PLC IDE, uh, you will see this um, window where it says you need to activate PLC runtime. Um, then click on that one, and then um, you should be able to activate the license. There is no license that you need to purchase. Once you click on that, um, the status should be uh, OK. And of course, if you want more uh, information and references on how to install and set up the PLC IDE, um, Arduino website, the documentation website has wonderful, wonderful um, uh, resources. Uh, I'm going to leave the link to this page in the description box below this video. Now, once you're done with these steps, every time you want to use Arduino Opta from now on, the device, the device, um, you go to Arduino PLC IDE, and then you create a project, download the runtime if needed, and then you start programming um, using any of the programming languages. And this is what I'm going to show you next, is I'm going to create a ladder logic program and then send it to Arduino Opta PLC. So I'm going to write a ladder logic program to turn on one of these status LED um, by pressing on the user button on the PLC Opta device. Now we can use the same uh, project that we've just created, or uh, you can create a new project by going to File and then select New Project. I'm going to keep the same project here. Now in order to tell the software that um, I want to use the LED status, um, then I need to go here. In the software, under the resources, the window on the left hand side, um, make sure that you're clicking on the resources, go to the local IO mapping, and then click on the LED outputs. And here you will see the addresses for the four LEDs um, that we have on the Opta PLC device. Very similar to the um, picture here. So I am going to give it um, a variable name 
the variable name is is a way to talk to the software to tell it that we need to use this specific address. Uh, very similar to the alias if you're familiar with the Ellen Bradley uh, terminology. So here for the variable, this is LED1. Um, and this one is LED2. And the same for 3 and 4. And in order to use the user button on the Arduino Opta PLC, then again, under local IO mapping, click on button inputs, and I'm going to give it a variable name of user button. Now to create a PLC program, click on the project here. Then under the project name, right click, select add and then new program and here you have the different languages uh, for the plc program i'm going to select the ld for ladder logic and then um, give it a name and then for the task assign it to fast click ok now for the ladder logic program it comes in with uh, one rung uh, that has an input and an output so double click on the input um, instruction or icon and then click here and I'm going to select the user button. Click OK. Now the same thing for the output. Uh, double click on the icon and then click here and I'm going to select LED1. So basically what I did here is I assigned the input to the user uh, button on the, on the device and the output to be the LED one. Now um, I need to compile the PLC program. Once um, the compiling is done, uh, I'm going to click, I'm going to connect to the target. Now it says it's connected and um, but there's no code yet. So to download the PLC Ladder Logic program or the PLC program, uh, you can click on the download icon over here or the online and then you download the code. And then click yes. Once the download is complete, um, click again on connect to the target. You see on the right hand side that says it's connected as well as the source is okay, meaning that the program has been downloaded into the device. Um, there is a little icon here that says live debug mode. So click on that one. Now I'm going to test the program. Every time I press on the user button, the first LED turns on. And with that, you have created your first PLC uh, ladder logic program using the uh, Arduino PLC IED, and you have successfully um, downloaded that into the PLC device. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.